What's up, everybody? I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Two for the Dough, Two for the Dough by Janet Ivanovich. This is book number two in her Stephanie Plum series. Stephanie Plum, the Bounty Hunter. Two for the dough. You know, I've got... We'll just do it. We'll just show you right now. I've got the entire Stephanie Plum Bounty Hunter series down here on one of my shelves here. We'll go down. I'll show... So there it is right there, everybody. You can see it. We've got them all. So we're reading... We're, we, I left a review of book one not long ago. So now we're at book two. Enjoyable series. Freaking dope. This is this is the closest this is the closest I have ever read to anything sort of comparing to the Sopranos. And maybe it's because it's set in New Jersey and it's got quirky quirky sort of very dark humor and it's very family oriented. And we'll get into that in a little bit here. Let's talk about the cover. Came out in 1996. So this series has been around. I think there's like uh, 25 books in the series so far. The cover's cool. Uh, all of the covers match. If you saw the books down there, you saw that all the spines look the same. So the series looks pretty good on the shelf just because all the spines look the same. And all the covers have this matching, similar design. No illustration on it to speak of. Just, you know, big, bold typeface, you know, bright colors, things that'll pop on the shelf. I can't, I can't complain about any of that. I like... I love graphic design. You know, I love any kind of illustration, even if it's a, just a, a beautiful painting on a on a cover. I love that, and I just and I love boldness on covers too, just like this. So, uh, I, I'll give it. I'll give the whole series a, a good grade for the cover work because it's great. <clears throat> now let's talk about Stephanie Plum, the bounty hunter. The, uh, you know, the, one of the reasons these books are so damn good is because in book one, she starts to become a bounty hunter. She needs a job, and she goes to her cousin, Vinny. So this stuff is straight out of New Jersey. Everything that I know about the state of New Jersey, even though I lived pretty close to New Jersey, I never did cross over the bridge into New Jersey. Saw no need to, um, really, when I lived in New York. Saw no need to go across the bridge into New Jersey. So the only thing, everything I've ever learned about New Jersey, I've learned from the Sopranos. Uh, Bruce Springsteen songs, John Bon Jovi songs, and uh, and the couple of uh, Janet Ivanovich, Stephanie Plum novels I read that are set in New Jersey, and they're set in you know her cousin Vinny, which would be his name. If you're a bail bondsman in New Jersey, your name would be Vinny. I guarantee it. But her cousin Vinny um, is looking for someone to help him uh, be a bounty hunter and collect on bail bonds, and so. Stephanie Plum, our here heroine here, the, our protagonist, she's like, well, I need a job. Don't know nothing about bounty hunting. I'm just like kind of a, this girl. But he hires her, and, and in book one, she goes on her first bounty hunter adventure. It's awesome. And uh, it's so darkly funny. It's just like The Sopranos. Stephanie Plum's family is mystified. They're even still mystified in book two of why the, she's a bounty hunter. And she just can't, just certainly can't be competent at it. And then her grandma, whose name is Grandma Mazer, is just one of the most delightful characters that I've read in a long time. And she was in book one. She's in book two. In fact, she plays a big role in book two. And she just, it's just like you remember... When you're watching The Sopranos and you, in, in just those moments where the families are sitting down to dinner and just talking about practically nothing, and it's just some of the most witty, poignant dialogue that you've ever heard, and even though they're just discussing nothing, and it just comes off as brilliant and funny and darkly funny, and this is the way this series is going. So anyway, the plot of this one, let's just go through it a little bit, and then I'll give you my rating. Um, it's a... Uh, you know, Kenny Mancuso. He's just a rich kid from Trenton, New Jersey, but he shot his best friend. Now he's on the lam. You know, and the bounty and the, you know, he bailed out of jail and now, they, now he never, he's on the lam. He didn't pay the bail bondsman. And now where her little Stephanie Plum has to go, bounty him up. Gotta go get it. However, however, there's a twist because 
Kenny Mancuso is also a distant relation to Joe Morelli. Now, Joe Morelli was who Stephanie Plum had to capture in book one. And Joe Morelli was also Stephanie Plum's first love in high school. And he's also a vice cop. And in book one, they thought he was a dirty vice cop. And she had to go hunt a bounty on him. And they ended up falling in love again. And there was a romance. And a lot of car explosions and gunplay. And a lot of dark humor in that one. Well, now, Joe Morelli is back. And Stephanie Plum still kind of got the hots for him. She's, he still kind of got off. But now they're in a race. Now they're in a race, a competition, to see who can bounty hunt this kid first. The vice cop or our bounty hunter, Stephanie Plum. And it's just great fun. It's just, it, and, and not only that, but there's other characters. Like I said, Grandma. They use Grandma Mazer as sort of a decoy. She's like a pistol packing and grandma decoy and it's just a fun plot twist with that and her and then stephanie plum's got her best friend her, her pal her roughneck pal his name is ranger and he's sort of like you know because she's sort of a, a woman like she doesn't have any training in police or fighting or gun guns shooting or any of that so ranger is kind of like her bodyguard slash bounty hunter helper and he's just a tough guy and uh, just the, all of the other characters are just super good in this series really glad i found this series anyway i'm gonna give two for the dough a solid nine out of ten i think it's a great book number two in the series and i can't wait to read the other you know 25 to 29 other books in the series